Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the episode 2 of Space Engineers Easy LiDAR Homing Script Setup. Um, before we begin, there's one thing that I do want to mention here. And under the guide, under custom data configuration, you have this. Set direction reference block tag. Now what this is, is set direction reference block tag equals blah 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 blah. Where you would name your remote control of your missile. It could be whatever you could call it. And the default is remote control, but you can have it missile forward, missile control, whatever. Now what this is for is by default, the script has whichever direction has the most thrust as forward. So if I take this right here, and let's just pop it off to the side over here. Grab a thruster. And throw that on there. Okay. So, a a a shut off. No, oh, that's a screw up. Oh well, bye. Oops, that wasn't my fault. There we go. So, as of right now, upwards has more thrust than forwards. Now with a missile of this size, it really don't need two upwards thrusters. But if you're building a large grade missile, you may. So by default, the missile is going to think this way is forward. Watch what happens when I hit run. Let's copy that. Run. Missile goes the wrong way because it thinks that way is up. Now, if I do this here, we get access to it here. Under custom data, oh, let's pull that back up. Set direction, reference block tag. Looks like space engineers want to act up a little bit. Equals, and I think it's what, remote control by default. Nope. What did I change? Did I change it? Where's the remote control? I know I put one on here. I did put one on here, didn't I? Should be one on here. Uh, well, let's do this. Your remote control. That's remote control. Now, I don't want this hitting my block, my little base, and blowing it up. So let's spin this around. Now, when I hit run, the missile is going to go that way. because I set which way is forward. Bye. I could just want to put our more control on that missile. 
So anyways, today we're going to be talking about the uh, available homing modes of 3 and 5. 3 and 5. Mode 3 is basically just a t standard TV guided missile. Wherever you point this cam, this uh, turret, um, that's where it's going to go. Now, R forward can also be your cockpit. It works the same way, um, but I like to use a turret because you can literally just move the turret around. So, if you're using a large ship, like a large battleship, all you're going to do is have one forward-facing turret, and you can guide your missile wherever you want instead of trying to swing this big behemoth around. Now mode 5, what well mode 5 is, mode 5 is basically mode 0 where it's your uh, lock on fire and forget. But instead of using the, your front of your ship as your aiming point, it uses the turret as aiming point. So once again, going back to your big lumbering behemoth of a battleship, you can have multiple, if you look, multiple or designators allowed to hit multiple turrets with with this name in it. And if one of these turrets are tracking a target, all you gotta do is push the launch key and launch, launch say, a missile at it. And your big behemoth doesn't even have to turn, just to turrets and whew, smack. Now, the setup, what's the setup here? Um, yes, yeah, so you do need a remote control. I could have sworn I put one on there. I don't even know why those missiles worked. So, your setup for launching ship. You need a block or a turret named R forward. In this case, we're going to use a turret. You also need a turret named R designator. If you do not, obviously, if you do not wish to use this mode, you don't need it. Same thing with the the TV guided. You don't need it. But if you wish to use these modes, then you do. Now you can change the tag in these the same way I did with that the reference block with the forward of the front of the missile. You can change them and you can basically have, say on a small ship, you can have one turret with the same name and both missiles work the same way off the same turret. But we're not gonna get into that today. We're gonna do we're gonna do one or the other. So correct my mistake here. Remote control, which Pretty sure I put one on, but I guess I didn't. Copy this missile, throw them up on the wings. One. And not two. That'll never launch. And two. Okay. Now let's get our turrets out. Uh, which one do we want to use? Really doesn't matter. Let's use Gatling turret. Now, we will call this R forward. Now, uh, item movement off, and we'll control this. Um, let's get a far target. Let's let's go up to that one up there. Now, it's important to notice. One of the things that I noticed is on another ship that I built. Actually, I'll pull it up here for you. What did I call it? The uh, this will be it. Um, that's the modded one. That's the vanilla one. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Come on. Okay. On this little gunship I built, 
these missiles were, can be used as a TV guided missile using this turret on the top. And what I notice is when I aim this and I fire one of these missiles, it comes out and it kind of dips down below the level of the ship before it coming coming back up and leveling off. And why this is important is when I built this, I built it kind of like a, to have like a, a, a Apache helicopter in mind to where you can sit the entire ship behind a hillside and stick the very tip tippity top out, use the turret to aim and launch the missiles and never even expose your ship. And this, and why this is important is if this dips down, you got to remember that it's going to smack into the ground or whatever obstacle you have in front of you. So I like to actually aim it up in the air, fire it, give it a second, and then pull it back down to where I want it, where I want the missile to go, and kind of let it stabilize and go from there. And that's what we're going to do from here. So. Run mode three, TV Gatter mode, and then our turret. Control. So, I'm going to point it up in the air, right? Launch the missile. That wasn't supposed to happen. As you've seen, right there, perfect example, it's smacking, smacked into the ground. And you can see the missile was one of the guide on the, the turret as I was moving around. And boom, that is TV guided mode, mode number three. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I got us set up here for mode five. Um. The AI turrets, originally I thought that wherever they pointed, they were kind of guided and they would self-lock on. But that's incorrect. What it is, is the turret itself has to lock on to... What in the world is that? Oh, that's going to be one of my other missiles. The turret has to lock on... <laughs> that's one of my test missiles flying around. Whatever the turret locks onto, that's where the missile is going to fly. And it has to be like AI controlled. So as you see, I got a pirated deterrent space fighter out there. When I turn this turret on, it's going to aim and start firing. And when I launch the missile, it's going to fly off to the right and smack into that spaceship. Or aircraft, whatever you want to call it. On. There it goes. Boom. Okay, enough. Now, as I mentioned before, what, what this is good for is lumbering spaceships where you don't want to, you can't necessarily turn your whole ship. Um, you got to rely on your turret to, to aim and lock on to targets. Um, this could be even a small fighter where, say, you got a backwards facing missile and you got a turret on your back that's firing at a, at a, at a spacecraft or an enemy, enemy fighter trying to chase you down. You can launch a, a missile at them from the, from the rear, um, anything like that, really. Whatever these, whatever these turrets can target is what they can aim at. Now let's go back down here and get a little recap here without smacking into the ground, without smacking into the ground, without smacking into the ground. Ooh, that was close. So, as a recap, set direction reference block tag equals whatever your the name of your remote control block is, which, 
whatever the name of your remote control block is on your missile, it goes forward. If you have more more forward thrust than downward thrust, you don't need that line. But if you got the equal amount of thrust, it may be a good idea to throw it in there. And the last episode, and the only reason I didn't have that trouble is I built the rear facing thruster, thruster first. Now, mode three, you a turret. It could be a cockpit, but I like to use the turret for it. That's R underscore forward. And when you launch the missile in mode three, it acts as a TV guided missile. You can physically guide it all the way to your target. Mode five, a turret named R underscore designator. And when the turret and the AI turret locks onto a target and starts shooting at it, you can launch your missile. And the missile will track down that target. And, well, kaboom. Now that's all for the, the available homing modes at the moment. Um, what do I want to do next time? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, I, I won't do this one, but I'll talk about it real quick, real briefly. Mode 8 is a turret AI homing mode using the missile mounted AI turret for guidance. Now, include in, um, there's also 9. Turret AI homing mode using missile mounted AI turret for guidance with initial camera guidance using launching ship R forward. R forward can also be a turret. So what these are is, when you launch the missile, if this one, it uses turret, the turret only, uh, you have to put a turret on the missile itself. And wherever that turret is pointing, that's where the missile's going to go. In mode nine, wherever you launch it, it's gonna use your camera guidance or R forward, basically just like mode zero, and when it gets close enough for the turret to lock on, the turret now guides the missile. You don't have to worry about your cameras no more. It's your turret guiding the missile. Wherever that turret is pointing, that's where your missile is going to go. Um, so we talked about 8 and 9. We talked about 6 in the last episode, which is just a standard, like, unguided rocket, if you will. Mode zero, it uses, it's a fire and forget missile using R4 for aiming. Um, mode two is basically the same thing as mode zero, literally. Um, mode three, we just covered mode three, we just covered mode five. So, okay, next episode we'll cover mode four which is using gps cruise mode using uh targeting shift r target as a gps coordinates and mode one lidar homing mode using coordinates from launching shift r target for initial lock on so we will use those uh basically they're gps coordinates mode four you put a gps coordinate wherever that miss like what gps is that's where the missile is going to go mode one um, if I remember correctly, I haven't used it in a while. It's same thing. It goes to the GPS coordinates, but when it gets, but when it gets in the range, your camera on on the front of the missile takes over guidance, and it go be, basically becomes a fire and forget missile. But we'll talk about that next episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Space Engineers and this tutorial on its easy lidar uh, homing script. You have a wonderful afternoon, night day, whatever it is.